What's happening? Welcome to Preachers of Prison. I play button. I am Willie William. Appreciate y'all for joining the play. Go ahead and click a link in the description or something like that. I was watching another video. Y'all know when I see something, I got to go ahead and share with y'all. Go ahead and show y'all something. If you'd like to see what we call an event video, please go to the Patreon. The Willie William shows all those videos that we cannot put up on YouTube because they don't like them. That's what's up. They said an LAPD officer under investigation as the video shows him repeatedly punching a fellow player out here in the community um doesn't look good but here we go <laughs> Law enforcement is fighting a man that is not fighting them back. But here we go. standing there complying with his hands behind his back. I have no idea why he just didn't, you know, put them braces on him. I'm confused. Here we go. <laughs> Easy when backup came, just stood there and got himself arrested, like he was doing in the beginning, like he wasn't resisting arrest because he was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, during the course of the investigation, well, doing, <clears throat> be professional. During the course of an investigation, a physical altercation occurred between the suspect and one of the officers, resulting in the officer receiving minor injuries to his hand. Now, do y'all think that the minor injuries to the officer's hand came from him trying to strike a citizen? The suspect had abrasions to his head and face, but refused medical attention. Players, if y'all is being abused and um, hit and beat by law enforcement, I'm gonna need for y'all to go down and get med medical attention so you can document what injuries you have because it works in your lawyer's favor. Just want to let you know because it's a video when it came out and they could have went ahead and said that the shit was just fine. But here we go. <laughs> Shout out to law enforcement for standing on what they believe in a time that you don't physically um, assaulted a citizen. But here, here we go. You 
you're not the police or get inside. So what that is saying, um, no one can be outside if they're not law enforcement. You see, the things that happen when these folks get these badges and shit, guns and authority, they think that they really got that type of authority. <laughs> so, at the moment, they do until they come in contact with somebody who don't give a damn about your authority and is willing to take it there with them. You know, somebody really about that goddamn life. Then they realize your authority don't mean shit. Here we go. Hey. Um, I just saw a video of, uh, not the whole incident, most of it. I, I started hearing them yelling, and um, I got right before uh, they got more aggressive, um, and I think, uh, I think the officer was kind of out of hand. Uh, that was unnecessary. Um, I'd like to get more information. There'll be a supervisor out here. Okay. Um, I'd like to get his card as well. I don't really want to talk to him because he's... Well, he's not going to come talk to you. A supervisor will talk to you. I'd like... And then you can get a supervisor's card. Okay. And they can give you all the information. Okay, cool. Thanks. My bad, I hope. My bad, I hope that they don't give me no damn... Um, a copyright thing because that wasn't intentional. But listen, he said he was attacked. Look at the video. His hand behind his back. His hands behind his back. Let's see real quick. <laughs> right now. His hands was behind his back. We can back it up. We can back it up. <laughs> Why they didn't put the handcuffs on? At that moment, both officers have hands on his hands. All they got to do is put the braces on and go on about their day. But it seems like maybe play ain't been getting a little bit at the crib or something. He probably got a little gambling problem or anything. Shit ain't came back the way he want things to come back. You know what I'm saying? Probably can't see his churn. Or shit. Yeah, churn probably don't like him because he probably over aggressively because he got on that uniform. This is a problem. The only real problem I have out here is how a lot of men take assault when it comes to law enforcement. We will take all the hits and all the punches. We'll take getting beat the hell up out here in the goddamn street instead of fighting back when it's going down. I do understand you don't have a firearm. I get it. But it's just something about fight or flight that does it for me. You're going to have to shoot me once you start hitting me and I'm not in handcuffs. Just saying. You, you, we got to stop allowing these situations as far as us getting our ass whooped. And we're not in handcuffs. When we're not in handcuffs, we have control. You're not just going to beat me and I'm able to fight back. That, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't. It's, I think that's in like a lot of our DNA or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to play it up to he was just beating his ass. He wasn't doing shit. <laughs> he is trying to stop the blow so he done been taught to not fight law enforcement back when they are assaulting him. That's for a lot of people. A lot of people don't believe that you need to defend yourself when it comes down to law enforcement beating your ass. When he throw his glasses down, he was big mad. His partner just standing there and she, listen, if this shit wasn't recorded, I don't even believe his partner would say he went too goddamn far. Why? Because they under the blue shield thing. We, damn it, no snitch. We ain't Takashi around here. Damn it, we don't snitch. Yeah, I saw you beat his ass for no apparent reason. We was finna put him in handcuffs. He wasn't resisting. But because of the blue shield code, I ain't saying shit. If I was the superior or internal affairs, before we let them know that there's a video showing the whole incident, I wouldn't even tell them that there's a video. Write your statements down and just turn it into your superior. Mm-hmm. And then show that they got their video.
We're going to charge our ass with assault and mental community anguish. And I hope Buddy is able to sue and get a whole bunch of millions. But it's going to come from the taxpayers instead of it coming from the LAPD, which is also a problem. We need to start um, doing like the civil suits on the police departments because a lot of these folks is out of hand. But I just wish that we'll fight back when we get our ass whooped. I don't. I know a lot of people say, but they got guns. Hell, if a, if a motherfucker in the street whooping your ass and they ain't done pulled the gun out, you'll fight back. Just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking that whole player going on, suit the shit out the whole goddamn state. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.